Hey guys, Rick Kern, the Scaly Dad here at Scaly Adventures, and I'm joined by Pierce, the Scaly Adventure, and my official son. <laughs> and we got something really cool we want to show you today, and I call it Soup Can Survival. And this is actually nothing more than a soup can that we had opened back at the house. And I wanted to show you a cool concept that can help you to keep survival gear safe, dry, and in fact, waterproof. And this can comes in pretty handy too. Pierce, why don't you crack open that can real quick? All right. Now, what you're going to notice is that Pierce is going to peel off some black electrical tape, and it's really nothing more than common electrical tape that you would use to seal up, um, like, electrical connections and things like that. But what it does is it works as a really great waterproofing. So the can comes off, the, t the lid comes off the top. We used one of these can openers that's a side crank one, so it doesn't have any sharp edges on it or things like that. Now, Pierce, let's start opening this thing up. Now, inside, I just threw in some different survival gear. You may actually have some stuff that you want to use, and it could be seasonally dependent. But some of the things we put in, first of all, was this cool survival whistle. We thought that would come in handy in the woods because when you have to get lost out in the woods, yelling very quickly exhausts your voice and makes you dehydrated. But if you're breathing, you can whistle. Now, the second cool thing we put in here was matches because it's a great way to start a fire out in the field. Now, with that comes tinder because like today when it's been raining and it's been cool outside if the wa if the ground is wet you're going to need some way to get that fire started so that you can ev eventually add wood to it and eventually dry it out now the next thing is we use this particular survival tool it's got a little whistle inside of it. it's got a, a fire starting rod in it and it's also got even a diamond sharpener on it so you can sharpen your blade but what i think is most important is it's wrapped with six feet of paracord and what's important about that is that you have some rope for fishing line or to tie up a shelter so that's also in there Another cool thing that we got in there is we got a signal mirror. This is great too. If somebody's out of the sight of your voice or your whistle, you can use a mirror. Also, if an aircraft comes over, you can use that to signal them as they pass through. And there's even a little hole so that you can aim with it. But that was in there. Another cool thing we got is this cool survival banner. Okay, this bandana right here is orange so that it can be used to signal but it's also got some handy survival tips on it. And they're really cool because it shows you everything from animal tracks to how to navigate using stars. It's a really cool uh, little primer for somebody who doesn't necessarily have a ton of survival experience. And sometimes when you're in that type of situation, you panic, you forget simple things. What else we got in there, Pierce? Last thing we got is this cool magnesium fire starter. And what it is is on one side, it's got magnesium. You scrape it and you put it into a little pile inside one of those cotton balls, and on the other side, you can scrape it using the back of an old hacksaw blade or something. Don't use your knife because you want that to keep the blade on it. You want to use something to scratch and cause a fire. And the last thing is this can here by itself, you can use that even to boil water or as a drinking cup. So stay tuned to Scaly Adventures for more cool tips like this, and be safe out there, and pack your own survival cure. We'll see you at scalyadventures.com.